Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a really interesting car, a 1957 Dodge Coronet two-door hardtop. Give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. The home to close to 100 classic and collectible cars ranging all the way from 1920 models all the way up into the 70s and beyond. So if you're looking for that classic car, you want to take a look at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Plus you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to do a cold start, a walk around, closer details so you can get a better idea of exactly how really nice this car is. Uh, today, like I said, we're going to look at a 1957 Dodge Coronet. Beautiful, ga gallant gold and glacier white. I mean, just, and you know what? I like the, the tones that these did, the, the three-tone, basically white, gold, white. You know what I mean? It was just, it was one of those things out of the 50s a lot of the car companies were doing, and it really gave the car a very, very special look, if you know what I mean. Uh, this car came with some of those niceties. It's got a V8, 325 V8. It's got power steering. It's got power brakes, which are always nice amenities on a lot of these 50s cars. A lot of times people didn't order those because they might have cost an extra $50 or whatever. Well, give or take, someone decided that, nope, those are really nice features and I want them. And for having a collectible classic car today, it's really nice for driving down the road and whatnot. Uh, beautiful chrome all the way around. This is the correct color, by the way. This is the way this car was ordered new in this color. So that's kind of always another interesting point. Beautiful chrome all the way around. I love the Lancer hubcaps. Those were hubcaps that some of the hot rod guys, they really liked those hubcaps. It was just something like that spinner like that. You'll see those on many other uh, brands of automobiles other than a Chrysler product or a Dodge, but they really liked those particular hubcaps. Beautiful wide white walls, which is correct for 1957. It's, you know, the 57, again, is just one of those forward look cars that Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, DeSoto, all they were doing you know, they wanted that swept look to, with the, like the rocket ship look, if that's what you will. And of course, look at that interesting hood ornament right there with the split rockets. I mean, that is just really, really an interesting thing to have. As a kid, one of my favorite things are these old cars. Uh, dual outside mirrors, which is always nice. It's always nice to be able to see. Uh, they did have the special, the, your rear view mirror was located in the middle of the dash. Getting a little get used to at the time, but once you do, it's just fine. You take a look at the interior of this car, really, really well done. I mean, this is, they were very deluxe, uh, deluxe models. It has the scope sight speedometer, they call it, that you can watch the speedometer go across when you were taking it out on the road. More gauges than a lot of the cars of the era. Still has its original AM radio in place, which is really, really nice thing to have, just because a lot of people will convert these old AMs to AM, FM, and Bluetooth or whatever, and still retain the original look in the car. And that's what's nice. They haven't cut the dash apart, done any of those kind of changes that sometimes people have done from 1957, which is a very good year. That was the year I was born. So these, this car was brand new uh, when I was, uh, when I was a, a, a youngster, 1957. You know, it is the new body for 1957. Uh, like I said, with the swept back deal, they have kind of the extra chrome that goes down the back here, all this kind of stuff. Dual antennas, another one of those features that a lot of guys like to have on some of their old cars. Dual exhaust as well. So you're getting a little performance and it's, I forgot to mention, it's a push button automatic. Second year for the push button automatic, which is nice. You just push the button and away you go. You don't have a shifter lever or anything like that in the way. And it was one of those things that, that they really wanted to have done, you know, because it was just one of those uh, things, one of the features that uh, Chrysler products did do. You know, of course, 1957 uh, signals some of the changes in the front headlight arrangements. You have the extra little ones there, the big ones, because they were right in the middle of the transition from single headlights to two headlights, and Chrysler was prepared with most of their models with all their brands. So just one of those things. Now you can find all of our cars and all of our information on our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like. 
leave us a comment or subscribe. We would appreciate it because there's always interesting stuff you can look at 24 hours a day. So if you're a car guy, take a look at our stuff. There's always interesting cars currently in inventory and cars that we've had in the past as well. I'll tell you what, it's one of these cars you just don't see very often. I mean, there's nothing against 57 Chevys or 57 Fords, but you know, the Chrysler products, you know, in their day were challenging it to say the least in terms of surviving or whatever. The, so this is a really, really nice example. You'll have to take a look at the underside as well because it's a nice, nice old car. Um, I guess if you're one, like me, a lot of times you're gonna wanna come down in person and take a look at it. Don't blame you one bit if that's what you want to do. We're happy to have you come down to Ellingson's. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you want to come down and put your hands on and take a look, we've got it right here on our sales floor. So nice to see you this time. Make sure to watch this video from start to finish because you will be able to have the cold start and a nice walk around. We will see you next time.